This is the city. Three million people. Working. Eating. Sleeping. Washing. Flushing toilets. One of the nice things about being part of a city is not having to worry about your own waste. One whoosh and it's gone. We decided to follow it. Feel free to say yuck anytime you like, but remember, it's your sewage. Incoming sewage to this plant is a collection of stuff with an interesting recipe. Take the output from toilets, sinks, showers, add anything that might be washed down the city's storm drains, and sprinkle with industrial waste. One fellow at the plant called it a witch's brew. The exact components change with the season and time of day. This is the first step in treating the mystery water, the grit tanks. The sewage is actually moving lengthways in these pools away from us. The sideways motion you see is caused by aerators that keep the mixture mixed. At the far end of the pools, it swoops below into a screen that will catch large objects. The screens are continuous belts that rotate periodically. Up top, solids are scraped into bins and trucked away. The screens catch cloth, cardboard, plastics, and rubber. After being relieved of its large hunks, it's onto these pools. Several things happen here. Grease floats to the top and sludge sinks to the bottom, and concentrated laundry bleach is added to knock off some of the bacteria. The bridge across this pool is actually moving. At the moment, it's returning to the far end to begin a new sweep. It will slowly shove the grease on top towards a conveyor at this end. From the settling pools, there are two different processes, one for liquids, another for sludge and grease. Sludge is pumped from the bottom of the pool, and the sludge and grease are reunited in a digester. We were having a good time in the underground tunnels to the digesters until we heard stories of monster spiders. Here's a shot from the roof. The round buildings are the digesters. There are 12 of them. Each one holds a million gallons of gunk for up to a month. Inside, Sludge and grease digest in a heated environment much like your tummy. We were lucky enough, lucky enough, to see a digester being emptied and cleaned. The video doesn't do this justice. You had to be there. Sludge is pumped out and then undigestible stuff is picked out by hand. The output of a working digester is much like the output of a human stomach. The gas, methane, is partially recycled to heat the digesters. There's no one procedure to treating sewage. At various points, the mixtures may be sent back to the beginning for reprocessing or elsewhere for further processing. These are big pressure cookers that will break down the sludge molecule so that it will give up its water easily. This is the dewatering process. After digested sludge has its water removed, it goes on to an incinerator. The incinerators are multi-story affairs that receive the dewatered sludge at the top. How hot are the incinerators? Hot enough to burn damp sludge, that's how hot. It turns into ash. Smoke from the incinerator has a fine mist of water sprayed into it to capture any solids. All liquid from the plant is sent to a huge array of pools. Any sludge that forms on the bottom is sent back to the beginning for reprocessing. Aerobic bacteria in the pools 
sunlight, and fresh air help to purify the water. And it's given a final shot of bleach before it's returned to the lake. This plant operates 24 hours a day, all year, providing a vital service to the city. Even as we sit back and burp after our holiday dinners, someone's taking care of the stuff we send down the drain. <laughs>